Aloha, I'm Reverend Cindy Palos, and I am going to talk about the elements of peace. It's such a wonderful, deep subject that I thought we'd go into another element focusing on today, the element of understanding. There's quite a few elements to peace. I've been researching this and doing talks on this for a while now, and I feel understanding is a very important key. So we'll do a little talk, I'll read some poems, and we'll do a meditation. Um, I'll start with the UNESCO and United Nations uh, quote here. Peace is reverence for life. Peace is the most precious possession of humanity. Peace is the mode of behavior, a deep-rooted commitment to the principles of liberty, justice, equality, and solidarity among all human beings. Peace is also a harmonious partnership of humankind with the environment. These are things to think about. These days, we are being um, bombarded with a lot of division. If you haven't been on social media, (laughs) you might not have been seeing some of the extreme division. But then again, in the news, we see it as well. It seems like what's happened these days with the sense of right and wrong, the sense of anger and frustration, um, that we're seeing more people feeling strongly about what they believe. Of course, this is possible with the use of social media. But also remember, when there's more light in the world, we can see into the shadows and the darkness. Think about it. When it's very bright out and the sun's out, think of the intensity of the shadows you see. So we, as people who work for peace, understanding, and light, have to also find understanding in the shadows and the darkness. I wrote this recently. It seems these days we're walking through minefields of divisiveness and pain with misunderstanding in the blame game. It hurts to see all those who disagree. For there's a part of me that cries out for peace. Can we agree to disagree in all those things that we so strongly believe? And can we understand that possibly they are not the same way as others see. I pray we can find a way to see the good that exists in all of our different ways, that we can find some common ground and with understanding come around to live together with aloha so that goodwill and peace can be found and that we can turn the world around. Now, this is a place that we have a chance to practice this. The world, this earthly plane, has always been a place of learning. And in life, when we are presented with all of the challenges we are being presented with, we have a chance to learn a lot. And I've always felt that understanding is one of the deep, deep foundations that helps to bring about love and compassion. And when we have that true love in our foundation, we can have compassion. We understand that we are able to be part of another person because we are all part of humanity. And when we can understand that combining element of our soul that we have along with all of the souls of all other here on this planet. We can start to find a way to find that bridge we need towards peace. Now, yes, understanding's a wonderful foundation, but it isn't necessarily the solution Now, understanding is a key to how this earth plane works. 
understanding each other, understanding our commonalities is really a key to peace. If we're all here to experience life, We're all here to experience learning, and one of the greatest things we can learn is that we can love each other. Now, what a great example that we've been having here, even just within families. People who are family members who disagree on their beliefs of whether they think they should be vaccinated, whether they shouldn't be vaccinated, whether... certain political parties are right or certain political parties are wrong. I've encountered this in my family, and it is such an amazing thing that you decide you're going to love that person even if you do not agree with what they're thinking. Now, once you get that intention in your mind that you're going to love them because they are a brother or a sister or a family member, then you have a basis to make a start, to understand each other's heart. And that means letting go of the ego. The ego is very divisive. The ego wants to express itself, it wants to be right, and it wants to have its way. But as we are evolving, from where we are right now, we need to understand the power of going beyond the ego and into the higher level of consciousness in the soul. In the soul's light, inside, we can all meditate together. You can believe one thing, I can believe another. But in that silence of meditation, We can be as one. This is such an important key. Think about it. Think about that energy in the silence that joins us all together without right and wrong, without the ego. Let's take a few moments to experience that. Together here, take some wonderful, deep, relaxing, calming breaths. Breathing in and feeling good and letting go of any tension, any kind of stress in your body. Just breathing, breathing deeply in, allowing yourself to just be. Breathing in that wonderful feeling of your soul's light into every single cell of your body. Is your body able to be at peace right now? Let's breathe in peace. Let's breathe in that beautiful peace that's like a lovely, colorful pink cloud. And let's just see that cloud there, completely beautiful in the sky, something to behold that's so beautiful. And let's now see that cloud coming towards us and just enveloping us. See it coming into your mind and bringing you a love-filled state of peace. Breathe it in. Then let go. Just release it. Imagine that energy of that love being someone in your sphere of influence you may not necessarily agree with. And allow yourself to feel this loving understanding for that person and all that's brought them to this place of what they believe. Breathing that in and just allowing yourself to feel the love that joins you and this other being as one. And allow this love to fill your heart Allow it to fill every single part of your entire body from head to toe. Feel your body working together in peace. Feel all of your chakras aligning for the good of all of your body. And with the same wonderful feeling, see the entire world working together for the good of humanity with understanding. 
Let's breathe that beautiful, beautiful pink cloud and let's send that whole beautiful pink cloud to surround the entire planet with peace, with understanding. And any of those shadows and those dark places that have agitation and anger, now let them see the light of peace and understanding. See the whole world enlightened with that understanding and peace. And see that energy radiating out throughout the universe, bringing peace to all. Breathe that deeply in and allow yourself to be bathed 100-fold in that energy as it comes back to you. Know that you can call on this energy from your soul at any point. Whenever you're experiencing disagreements, remember, take a breath of understanding. Take a breath of peace. And take a step out of the ego. Breathe that energy in and absorb it. Allow yourself to be it. Believe it is so and so it is. I ask you always to remember the power of peace. The power there within you that can bring about this heart of understanding. And I'll close with a poem I wrote. Come, oh come to this world and know the heart of understanding. Bring the peace and compassion it takes to be alive. To understand that love in the heart of the compassion. This is not a religion or a Sunday kind of thing. It's being here 24-7 and all that that means. To be human and allow that truth to be, and let that light come to the hidden places only you can reveal. For there is a lifeline that you were given at birth that connects you with the world and your true worth. The human heart is here to know, and so we are given the eyes of the soul And with that vision, we can see that light that's alive and guides us to the heart of compassion and understanding. Allow that understanding and breath to guide you, to bring you away to know that love is this great gift always that you can call upon. That gift is alive in you and me, joining us together in peace and understanding. God bless you always, and thank you so much for listening.